What is up YouTube, Matt from MH Fitness here, back with another video for you guys. Uh, in today's how to video, I'm going to go for something a little bit more cardio based. So, for anyone who wants to burn fat, doesn't necessarily want to get big, or even be doing any weight training for example, just someone who wants to shed a little bit of fat, or just generally get their cardio game up. So we're going to be talking about interval training today. It's not going to be a very long video, just going to go into what it is and uh, why I prefer it over sort of long 20-30 minute um, aerobic exercise like cycling or running which is also good but obviously sometimes if you don't have enough time it's a lot better if you can fit in with a smaller interval based form of exercise so let's get into it okay so there's two types of interval training I'm going to talk about today the first is Tabata and the second is just high intensity interval training otherwise known as HIT um, basically they're very similar but usually with high intensity interval training in itself, you would do say one to two minutes at 70 or 80 percent of your absolute maximum effort, and then have 30, anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes rest, and repeat that for up to 20, 30, 40 minutes. So that's a bit more of a serious, uh, kind of still more of an aerobic exercise, but just at the higher intensity level. So it's still going to take just as long, which is why I personally kind of prefer to batter training, and that's what I'm going to talk about today. I've got a piece of equipment here that I'll show you, but first I'm just going to quickly explain what it is. Uh, so like the normal high intensity interval training, it's going to be a certain amount of time doing an exercise at a certain effort and then a certain amount of rest and repeating that. So um, usually with the typical Tabata, or the one I would do, I would do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So in the 20 seconds you'll do absolute 100% effort no matter how hard it is, no matter how horrible it is, smash it out for 20 seconds and then have a 10 second rest. Or if you're doing it on a, I don't know, a bike or a running machine or something, then maybe, obviously it's quite hard to just completely stop those 10 seconds, so just go at a reasonable pace and then smash it out again at full 100% for the next 20. Do that typically about 8 times for a total of 4 minutes. So that's what I'm saying, like, if you don't have a lot of time, you could just fit it in before work, before you have a shower or whatever in the morning. Gets your lungs nice and awake. Um, gets the blood pumping, gets you ready for the day and it's your cardio pretty much done for the day for most people. So that's why I really like it. It's pretty horrible, it does make you want to throw up quite a lot of the time but just that's just one of the things that's going to have to happen. Um, but it really does work. The reason it's so good and the reason you can do this kind of exercise within just 4 minutes and still get enough to equate to like 20 minutes, 30 minutes on a normal sort of medium paced bike ride is because it causes what's known as the EPOC effect, E-P-O-C, which stands for Exercise Post Oxygen Consumption. And that basically means instead of training aerobically and using your lungs and working them up to it and getting them at a pace and gradually burning calories, because you're going at 100% all out giving it everything you have for 20 seconds on and off, your body doesn't know what's going on, it's like throwing everything in the chamber all at once. So once you're done you're going to be exhausted and you're going to be out of breath for a good 5, 10, 15 minutes after, you're still going to notice it. So yeah, that basically means all you need to do is smash it out for those 4 minutes and your body is going to keep working at it and keep uh, burning calories for the next 10, 15, 20 minutes after. So you're going to burn just as many calories as doing a 20 minute long bike ride or run. But if you have problems with your shins, shin splints or whatever, you can't run, you don't have a bike, you don't have an appropriate place to do any of those activities, don't have any machines, um, then it's great to do. Or if you just don't have time simply, it's just a nice four minute, five minute exercise. Obviously you can do it two or three times if you want for a total of 12 minutes. But if you are doing it to absolute 100%, you won't need that. And it's going to be, unless you're some sort of mega athlete, it's going to tie you up. So yeah. And I'm just going to show you this piece of equipment I've got here. This is a gym boss. I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah, there we go. So basically, as you can see, you've got the 20 seconds here, 10 seconds here. You can set that to wherever you want, and it's going to run for eight times. Again, you can set that for up to a minute, I think, and up to whatever numbers you want here. That's a kind of nice four-minute general typical Tabata. So I leave it at that and I either do it 
one and a half times or twice if I don't feel like I've done enough. But most of the time, if I'm on the bike or um, the burpees or whatever, then four minutes is, is enough to tie me out. So yeah, if you just start it, all it's gonna do is uh, run down. So it'll beep, it'll run down the first 20 seconds. It'll beep again to let you know that it's on to the rest period. It'll beep again to let you know that you're starting again. So you don't need to look at it the whole time. And then when you're done, it will just continuously beep so that you know it's finished. This you can pick up on Amazon for like 10 or 10, 15 dollars, uh, 10 pounds, whatever. I think around there, maybe 20 at absolute most. I'm not sure, but I'll leave this link in the description for you to check it out. But yeah, it works great. Um, so yeah, that's what it is. That's why it works. And that's a piece of equipment that I recommend using for it. But now, Obviously if you don't have any equipment and you're not looking to weight train, you don't have a bike like I was saying before, then you want some exercises that are going to incorporate your whole body and get you burning the most amount of calories and making this four minute workout really worth it. So I'm just going to show you quickly here two exercises I think are great to mix together with this Tabata. So like the first 20 seconds you do one, the next 20 seconds you do the other and repeat. So the first one is burpees, which I'll put on the screen now. So these are good because they incorporate the whole body and going to be stimulating all the muscles, really getting the blood pumping and getting your um, calories burnt and getting the most amount of calories burnt that you can. Next exercise is mountain climbers, which I'll show you here. So these are good because they incorporate the whole body and going to be stimulating all the muscles, really getting the blood pumping and getting your um, calories burnt and getting the most amount of calories burnt that you can. Next exercise is mountain climbers, which I'll show you here. These are great as well because uh, you're holding yourself up with your arms, a little bit of your chest, shoulders, and obviously you're moving your legs up and down and keeping your core nice and tight the whole time, so you're really incorporating the whole body again. But you're not doing the same exercise the whole time, which you can obviously do, but I mean, if you've ever done burpees before, if you're doing them at 100% for 20 seconds, eight times, it's pretty rough, which is good. Like, I mean, that's what you kind of need. You need to be burning those calories. I just wanted to give two exercises because some people have hip problems or, whatever, or knee problems so they can't really propel their body off the floor repeatedly for four minutes. So it's just two different exercises, they're great to mix up, they're great to do alone. If you're going to do one of them alone and you, you are able to do burpees I would say do them because they're going to burn more calories. But yeah, they do work great together, I definitely recommend trying them. As for um, high intensity interval training, I don't do that as often really because I'm usually just trying to smash it out get sweating as much as I can, get that epoch effect kicked in and burn as many calories in as little time as possible. But sprints are great for a normal high intensity interval training session. If you've got a patch of concrete, grass, anything, obviously be careful turning over your ankle in the grass or whatever, but if you've got, I don't know, a basketball court down the road or something, do some sprints in there. Sprint up, sprint down, sprint up, sprint down for 30 seconds to a minute, whatever it may end up being and then rest for 30 seconds to a minute, whatever, again, whatever you've made your plan set out to be. But yeah, there's two types of interval training that you can incorporate into your workout to burn some calories, to get your cardiovascular system a bit more on track. And just generally, for those of you that don't really want to build muscle on this channel, just looking for ways to burn a little bit of fat and stay healthy, I hope this has helped. I'm going to try and obviously incorporate things like this a lot more into the channel. I've noticed the subscribers let me know that um, I've been a bit too muscle focused and a bit too bodybuilder kind of focused. So I'm going to make sure I can try and help as many people out as possible with different techniques and tips and tricks that I have. So yeah, hope you enjoyed guys. As always, please like, comment, subscribe and share if you can. I really appreciate all the support. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you took something out of this. And I will see you next week. Peace.